Hello, what's up? Ali here. And on this video, we are going to show you the easiest and fastest way how to have an automatic jailbreak for our PS4. On this video, we are going to show you how we can set up our ESP S2 Mini and get ready for the easiest and fastest way to jailbreak our PS4. And uh, for those who are not yet aware, uh, if you are on 9.0, you will need a USB to activate your jailbreak. By uh, using this stuff, uh, all you have to do is uh, just plug it in your PS4 and just put your hands up and wait for the gold hand to be activated. So let us start with our requirements. First, we are going to need our ESP S2 Mini and either our USB cable or our adapter to be able to connect this to the PC and to the PS4. First, we'll have uh, to set this up on the PC. I will leave a link on our description for the host that we can use where we can easily set up uh, our automatic jailbreak. First, we will have uh, to connect our ESP S2 Mini on the PC. Then open this host and just click on connect. Here on this part, you should see here the S2 Mini. First, we'll have uh, to reset our ESP. So you will notice that there is two buttons on each of the sides here. All you have to do is just press this at the same time. So once you have reset your ESP, all you have to do is just uh, click on this one and just click on connect. Then click on install and click on install again. And uh, later on this video, we are also going to share some tips or ways how we can make it presentable. So after the installation, it will wrap up and you will see installation complete. Then just click on next. And we can go ahead now and insert our ESP device on our PS4. Now we can go and set up our PS4 for the automatic jailbreak. Now go to the settings, click on network. Set up internet connection, choose Wi-Fi, easy, and choose PS4 exploit. For the password, the password is 12345678. Then just click on OK. Now the thing here, since we cannot use the DNS, we won't be able to protect our PS4 for the automatic updates. So be sure to disable your updates on your previous host. Don't worry, we'll go ahead and show you that later. So go back and go to the internet browser, press option, plus window, delete all, go to the settings, delete cookies, and clear website data. Now on the enter URL, click on HTTP without the S, then PS4 exploit without the .com, then click on enter. From here, you can go ahead and choose automatic. Then click on the gold hand that you wish to load. From here, all you have to do is just enter the web browser and put your hands up. You see it only takes five seconds to load the gold hand without the use of a USB device. Now you can actually go back to the previous host. All you have to do is just reset your network. Now let's go ahead and go back to our previous host to show you how we can disable the updates. Go back to the settings, network, set up internet connection, use Wi-Fi or whatever connection that you are using. Just choose easy. Now you can go back to the web browser and enter your old host. So press option again, close window. Option again, settings, delete cookies, clear website data and enter your old host. So you can do this if you just uh, missed your old host or you want to load uh, some specific payload that the ESP device uh, don't have. So let us go ahead and use this host and also show you how we can disable the update. And since you have already activated the gold hand, you don't have to use your USB. For now, let us go ahead and disable our updates. And if you want to go back to the automatic jailbreak, let's go ahead and reset our host again. Go back to the network settings.
and go back to PS4 exploit. Now let us go ahead and restart our PS4 to show you how fast, easy, and convenient it is uh, to use this method of automatic jailbreak. Now let us go back to the internet browser and simply put your hands up and wait for your jailbreak. That's how easy and fast that to use ESPS to mini or to jailbreak on your PS4. And now for those who are concerned about the looks, here's what you can do to make it presentable. So what I did is I used an older PS1 memory card. So I just use the casing itself. You'll just have to make some minor adjustment to fit the S2 mini. So here, I made a little modification to make sure that the S2 mini will fit in perfectly. Once done, you can go ahead and enjoy your automatic jailbreak with some style. So this will be it. If you have any questions, suggestions, or addition to our video, you can go ahead and add them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, this is Ali. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.